everybody, I'm back again with another episode of my vinyl collection series. If you watched my previous video, you saw I went through all my Beatles albums. So in this episode, I'll be picking up with the letter B and what's beyond the Beatles in my collection. So first up we have Beck Odele. This album is a reissue from a couple years ago. I remember getting this on CD when it first came out. I was in high school. I remember listening to that quite a bit. It was re I really enjoyed this album. Insert here. And next I got a more recent album of Beck's from 2014, Morning Phase. I think this one actually, if I remember right, it actually won Album of the Year. This is on the Capitol label. This also has an insert here. Got the lyrics on the back. Uh, next we got the Best of the Bee Gees. And if you only know the Bee Gees for their disco music, I recommend that you check this one out. This is their uh, 60s output, uh, pre-disco pre material. A lot of good stuff on here. And this is on the <clears throat> Atco label. And uh, the only other Bee Gees one I have is the uh, Main Course album. This one's got songs like Nights on Broadway and Jive Talking. So more of the disco type music now. And the sleeve here's got lyrics on it. A picture down there. label RSO Robert Stigwood and the next one is Chuck Berry flashback uh, I don't really know too much about this it's on the Pickwick label if this was a TV order thing or what I got this from my late uncle the two record set of a lot of his greatest hits. Here's your Pickwick label. <clears throat> Next one here is Blondie Parallel Lines. A lot of good songs on here like Hanging on the Telephone, One Way or Another, uh, Heart of Glass. Probably one of my favorite songs by Blondie, Heart of Glass. Here's the sleeve with the lyrics. And this is on the Chrysalis label. Okay. Uh, next is the, the Live Adventures of Mike Bloomfield and Al Cooper. See the song listing there. Again, another double LP set. There's the inner sleeve. And this is on the Capitol label, or Columbia, sorry, Cap Columbia label. And we have the Blues Brothers, briefcase, briefcase full of blues. A lot of good blues songs there with the Blues Brothers band here. 
We got uh, Steve Cropper and Duck Dunn from the Stax Records. They were studio musicians for Stax. Also part of Booker T and the MGs. On the Atlantic label. Next up is the Blue Ridge Rangers. This is an album done by uh, John Fogarty of CCR. And the Fantasy label. Next I got a couple by Boston here. This is first one is Don't Look Back. Try to make sure you see everything. There's the inner sleeve with lyrics. This is on the Epic label. A few good songs on here like Don't Look Back, uh, Man I'll Never Be, Feeling Satisfied, Party. I don't have their debut album which I'd like to get on vinyl. That's one of my favorite albums by them and a great debut album by any band. Uh, the other one I have here is called Third Stage. This has got the song Amanda and Cool the Engines, two of the main ones that I like on there. Let's leave again with the lyrics and the Boston logo. This one I think came in some collection that I got, I don't think I've ever listened to it, but it's Bread. Guitar Man. I don't think I even know any of the songs on here. I got the lyrics on this side. Picture of the band here. And this is on the uh, Electra. And last for the letter B, we got the birds, Mr. Tambourine Man. This is a mono copy on Columbia. A lot of Dylan stuff on here. Mr. Tambourine Man, I'll feel a whole lot better. Chimes of Freedom, All I Really Want to Do, almost half Dylan song, so. Uh, starting off with the letter C, we got Captain and Tennille's Greatest Hits. Love Will Keep Us Together, Muskrat Love, Shop Around. And then this came here with uh, kind of like a poster you could, it's perforated here, you could tear this out and hang it on your wall if you really wanted to see that on your wall every day, but it's got a custom label there with their dogs. Next is the Carpenters, the Singles. 1969 to 1973. Not in the greatest shape. Um, picture of Richard and Karen there. I actually have two copies of this album in the same sleeve here because one one I had the cover was totally shot, so I got both of the albums in here. And this also came with a, a book. And the 
next one I got is close to you. The A and M label. Then we have a horizon. with the picture and the lyrics. On the AM. And then we got um, Carpenters. This folds down like a picture frame -ish. Supposed to be able to fold this back and stand it up, and you got a picture of the carpenters there. Here's the sleeve. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know I got the the, re, the carpenters box set, the vinyl box set, where a lot of the records were shot, and I had to send them all back and get new ones but those are just a few of the original ones I got there so uh, next up I got the cars greatest hits the sleeve here is got the band members Electra label. Now we get into some Johnny Cash, and a lot of these aren't in the best shape. Uh, this one in particular, Johnny Cash with his hot and blue guitar. Again, this is when I was starting out really getting into vinyl. I just kind of wanted to get whatever I could, and this is in really terrible shape. You can see the, the sleeve is completely separated all the way around. But it's on the Sun label. Uh, Johnny Cash sings the songs that made him famous. And this one too, it's got somebody to put masking tape on the top and bottom because it's separated. Again, this is on the Sun label. So I did actually find a, a lot better copy here. Somebody wrote their name on here, but still it's a lot better condition than the first one. And on the Sun label. Here we have Johnny Cash and the Tennessee 2 Original Golden Hits Volume 1. We have found this one and the next one on a garage sale in mint condition. Then we have Volume 2 as well. I think there is actually a Volume 3 if I remember right. I don't, don't have that one. Again, another nice tape job here by somebody. Johnny's first Columbia album. This is on the 6i Columbia label. I think this is the first Johnny Cash record I ever bought. bought found it at a flea market dollar or two I think. Johnny Cash as I walk the line. A lot of these are uh, re-recordings of his son records that he uh, re-recorded for Columbia. Get on the Columbia label. Here's one of my favorite Johnny Cash albums at Folsom Prison own this on several different formats and 
love listening to this one. Again, the Columbia. So yeah, this one along with at San Quentin are two of my favorite Johnny Cash albums. This one's got a boy named Sue on it, which is a big hit for him. Okay, next up we have Johnny Cash, Mean as Hell. It's on the same Columbia label as most, most of these are, I believe. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. The lyrics. And that's got the same Columbia label. I don't need to show you that again. And here we have Johnny Cash Bitter Tears, Ballads of the American Indian. Johnny Cash's Greatest Hits Volume 1. You can see the track listing there. This one was a record store day release that I picked up last year. I think it was last year, the Johnny Cash Children's Album. Just got a bunch of silly songs that kids would, would enjoy. So it came with the download card, the Columbia label, and then here's a little excerpt here from his son John Cash, a picture of the sleeve there, and I don't remember which year this came out, I think it might have been two years ago, two or three, the Johnny Cash TV show, it was a record store day release. What, kind of the greatest hits from his TV show. Got some good stuff with the Carters and uh, Statler Brothers, Chris Christopherson. I think there's a Bob Dylan song on here too. And here's a good one for you, David Cassidy's Greatest Hits. I think this came from my mother's collection. In the Arista label. And I threw this one in there. Uh, it's one I had when I was a kid. I used to watch the Chipmunks. This is their songs from their TV show. For all you kids at heart out there. And a couple more before I end this video. We have Eric Clapton Unplugged. It's probably one of my favorite Eric Clapton albums. The, drop the hype sticker stored inside there. I'll show you one of the albums here. Yeah, I really enjoy that one. And this is his last one. I enjoy all the songs on here too. I still do, it's called. If you can see the cover 
was drawn by Peter Blake, if you remember. I think he was the one that did the Sgt. Pepper album cover. And the sleeves got pictures of him in the studio recording the album. double LP set. So there you go, that about does it for this video. I don't want these to get too long, so stay tuned for the next one. I'll be going through my next bin of records here and hope to see you guys tune in for that as well. Take care everybody.